So I wanted to also share another common incidental finding on brain MRIs. You may have heard your doctor tell you that you have a cyst in the back of your brain. So the most common incidental and benign cyst is called an arachnoid cyst, which if you look at the back of the brain, it's this fluid-filled area right here behind the area called the cerebellum. Now, uh, you can see that it's filled with fluid because on T2 images, where we're seeing axial slices through the back of the cerebellum. Again, here's the nose, here are the eyeballs, here is the ethmoid sinuses, here are the temporal lobes, and this is area called the cerebellum. You see this sac of fluid, and it usually fills within the arachnoid membrane. So there are three layers on top of the brain. There is the pia mater, the arachnoid space, and the dura mater. The arachnoid space is where this fluid accumulation occurs, and it's usually congenital, meaning it occurs since childhood. It is often benign, meaning it is of no consequence. However, if uh, it pushes against vital structures enough, it can cause problems including balance because it is pushing against the vestibular structures of the cerebellum and here in the medulla and also it can lead to uh, intracranial pressure increase if it's large enough to obstruct flow of venous uh, blood or spinal fluid. It can lead to uh, compression of cranial nerves possibly in this area, uh, but it is relatively rare for it to cause any of those symptoms. So in case you've heard that your doctor is telling you you have a cyst in the back of your brain, it's likely to be an arachnoid cyst and it is likely to be benign and of no consequence. So this is a common finding that sometimes increases patient's anxiety and it is worthy to mention that uh, it's not likely to cause any symptoms and do not, does not require any intervention.